Um, hello, everybody. Uh, as you may know, my name is Nicholas Zito. I'm the father of the bride here today. I hope you're all enjoying your dinner. I hope you've all been enjoying the reception. Um, I'm just going to give a quick toast on behalf of the wife of the bride and the groom, Chris and Celia. Celia Zito, now Celia Fox. Um, I'm going to start off by talking about the past and how these two have came so close just from knowing each other since the first grade and growing up in College Point and it's really, really, really a, a true love story if you come to think of it. Um, growing up in College Point, these two, our families were very close, the Zito family and the Fox family and Chris and Celia spent, uh, spent every day together from the ninth grade when they started dating. Uh, they went to high school together at PS416 in Queens. Um, Along with their siblings, Celia had three brothers, and I have five children, Chris, along with two brothers and two sisters. They all were in high school together, so um, they were always around each other, always talking, always like had the same group of friends. Um, talking about high school, Celia had a bizarre way of showing her love for Chris, actually, during high school. She had a shirt made with Chris's face on it, and it said, he's mine. I mean, he did win best looking, but come on, Celia, you had to embarrass him like that in front of everyone. I mean, walking around with his face in high school is a uh, social disaster. Um, during these, I can remember uh, during one of their off periods, my son Richard, who was not the biggest of, at all, uh, Richard, you want to stand up for us to show everyone? Um, he used to get bullied a lot. He was one of the kids that would always picked on, always got made fun for being short and small, whatever. And Chris. Chris didn't like that, and he was one of the bigger kids. He was a football player. He was a very athletic kid, and he actually, he fought, he punched the kid and broke his nose and got suspended from high school. So, I mean, I'm sure his parents weren't happy. You know, I see them shaking their heads, but yeah, I had some sympathy for him. He settled for my son, so yeah, why not? Um, Celia growing up was very artistic. She was always she was always into drawing, using paints, and collecting her Barbies, and I guess artistic can go along with, she used to love to cut their hair. I'm surprised Chris even lets her go near with a scissor. She used to be chomping at their hair all day. It was, it's pretty impressive how they came out, but geez, oh man. Um, Celia and Chris started really seriously dating about going to 10th grade. Uh, they both worked at Supreme's Deli on 112th Street. Um, They've never fought at all. There was never any conflicts unless, like, over who was going to wrap the sandwich, who was going to cut the meats, you know? <clears throat> but no, no no conflicts ever really arose when they were together, which is very good, of, which is why I see they're getting married. Having such a close past and such supportive families behind each of them is the reason why we uh, I stand here today to celebrate the marriage of my daughter to her wonderful husband, Chris. So... I'm now going to move on to talk about what they've been doing today, how they've, how, how they've successfully planned out their future, starting with getting married. Um, they've been engaged for two years, so this is a, the end of their engagement, the start of their marriage. Um, you guys work hand in hand when it comes to your career, careers. Chris, you being a, a general contractor, you build homes on the Long Island region into the city region, and Celia, uh, I've recently learned that you just got a real estate license, so you're going to be selling all of Chris's homes. So the dynamic duo is back. Um, you guys, you guys are going to make a killing, and I give all the, all the luck to you. Um, I can always rely on Chris to do something. Uh, I mean, look at look at this wedding. There's about 300 people here. Look at the food. Look at the centerpieces. Just look, the atmosphere is just great in here. And I mean, it all starts. Uh, well, Chris can. Can't thank you enough for that. Those coats were not hung themselves, you know. Whenever I ask a favor, Chris is always there. He's always the first one to do anything. Chris, you've really built a beautiful home for your family to come. You have planned out your future for your children to come. You established a home in a very nice town, suburban town, where the schools are nice. So, you know, you're going to be a great family, man. I really, you're going to be a great father. I see a lot of you in me when I was your age. What? 30 years ago, so yeah, a lot of credit for that. Um, this being an Italian family, uh, however, you got to use to the, the ethics we have, and food is a huge part of Italian culture, as you may know. You coming from Irish descent, I know it's not one of the more important things, but you got to learn that you have an Italian wife now. Don't keep using the microwave for dinner, you use her. That's why we put her in the kitchen. She cooks a great, great, great macaroni and meatball. 
Um, but you two really do look great together. You remind me of me and my wife Madeline from 19, back in the 1930s, 1933 when we got married actually. It's really, really, uh, it's really something. But um, I hope your future plans. Uh, I, one day I hope you guys will be able to share share your wealth and your health with your children and be able to pass down what you guys learned growing up onto your children. I, I can see um, my genes will come to the grandchildren, so you have some nice looking boys, some nice handsome boys. Um, I, I mean, I expect a lot from you guys. Uh, being a father of four, ch of four children, you know, you gotta keep the family moving, the family tree has to keep getting extended out. Um, but why are we here today? We're here to celebrate love and joy, and, and the, it's actually the, the sacrament of marriage. Marriage comes from the many in the past, very, 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 very old. But, um, yeah, uh, so love brought us here today. It has brought us family here today, the Fox family and the Zito family. Um, I do thank everyone for coming today. I hope everyone enjoys their dessert. But I want us all to leave here today with a feeling of joy that our newly married couple will spend this romantic occasion with us. Let, let us say a prayer in our heads for them to be, have a happy, healthy, and wealthy future. Everybody enjoy your dessert and give it up for Chris and Celia, the newly wedded couple.